Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in Miskolc, Hungary, which is in the northeast part of the country, and it's actually where Wes's dad was born. This is the motherland, so this is where my dad is from. Uh, he was born here. Uh, he has never returned though, so that's what makes this video interesting. I kind of wanted to make a video for him, like for him to watch, so I can go around and show him like the city now and and like see the, the the main city and see the house he grew up in and then we're gonna we're gonna see the the church where his parents were married we have some pictures we have some cool pictures let's just start off with this picture because i think it's the funniest this is my grandfather um i never actually met him i don't think but this is a picture of him and it kind of resembles someone a lot of similarities <laughs> So let's get started. This video might be a little different because we're going to talk to my dad in this video. So but you'll get to see some of Mishkolts. And then yeah. afterwards, we are going to show you guys all the things there is to do here. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're just, okay, listen, Dad. We're just off the main street now. And this is like, they have like this little river running through Mishkolts. I don't know if you remember this. See, I'm curious as to what you remember. Um, but see, they have this like little river here. And now they have this fence here and they put all these locks here and like like uh, like a man and a woman write their names on the lock and then lock it and I guess it just means they're going to be together forever. We didn't bring a lock but we do have one of these on the bridge in Paris. I don't know if it's still there but it's cool there's like tons of locks here on this little bridge and there's this one really huge one. This one's like bigger than my head. I think they might have took this this a little too far. <laughs> Okay, so dad, this is this place is where we got a cup of soup. How do you say soup? Soup is levish. And, and what's how do you say beer? Sorot? Boro? Shorot. Short yeah, or pretty, boar. Pretty good. One of those seven. <laughs> and Attila is such a popular name here. Like, there's, I don't know if you could see, but there's a, um, a cast for some kind of show, and two of the people are named Attila. My sister has been learning a lot of Hungarian. She's watching this video. Hi, Nikki. Okay, so she's been learning Hungarian, and she's been doing a lot of research on our like background, our, our ancestors, trying to trying to find the tree because we have a lot of cousins and like family in Hungary that we have no idea about. So like I seen a picture when I was younger, imagine this was a picture, and there's all, all like, there's like 20 kids that are like my cousins that we don't know. So we're trying to, we're trying to, my sister's trying to locate them, so it's kind of cool. So we're gonna go to this house that my dad um, used to live at. We're gonna ring the doorbell, and we have like, we wrote out a sheet of like, we translated it, like I can speak a little word, couple words, but we translated it so it's like, my name is Wes. I am from Hong or I'm from Canada. Uh, my dad used to live here. So we got we got a plan to see or like to maybe like the house is still in the family. That's the idea. So we're gonna find out. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Dad, people watching, my sister, we've did it. Oh, we've did it. We did it. We took the bus down here, which only took like 10 minutes. That was really good. But we're here, and there's actually a couple schools around here. I can't remember what my dad's school name was, but I think me and Felicia are going to go inside that school and ask. But we're like right around the corner from my dad's old house. Come along. Oh, jeez. See, it's weird because I guess it's common to have to have like fences and stuff here on your yards, but there's like a lot of dogs and they're always barking every 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 yard. <laughs> it's like everywhere is a guard dog. We're walking in the middle of the road because the sidewalks are too close to all these dogs. Okay, Dad, we have made it onto your old street. Let me know if you recognize this street. We just gotta walk like. I don't know, like 10 houses to get to the house. 
But let, let's see if you recognize. There's no one here. Like, we're actually, like, there's people, like, inside their houses. But there's no one, like, on the roads. Just the just the dogs. So, Dad, we are actually in the backyard of the house. We, uh, the the people that live here now, actually let us in. She was in the yard. We we talked to them, and we're in the backyard. So take a look. Okay, that was actually really cool. Yeah. Like, okay, what happened was we walked up to the door and the lady was actually outside and we're like, holy shit, like, this is real. So we, I passed a note. I'm like, you know, good afternoon. I passed a note through the gate and it said like, you know, my dad used to live here, blah, blah, blah. His grandmother built the house that we went to. It's just crazy to be here like 50 or 60 years later. But so we're not related to the people that live there now, but the neighbor... The neighbor knew, like my dad knew my my grandmother, like knew the family names, and like she 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 was like probably ninety and like telling like. But the thing is though, it was all in Hungarian. Like they didn't speak any English. There was a lot of like miming and writing down and Google translating, and it was just like such an experience. It's like the kind of thing that like. We can't capture it the way it was on video. Like we even got like homemade she, bread she, that they, she baked to take home. They let us. They let us into the house. I got to look around. Like I didn't really want to take too many pictures of their inside of their house, but like the lens was fogging up and stuff. But anyways, it was like really cool. I think. And you can see some older photos that we have, like uh, Wes showed them, and they knew right away. Like oh, that's at the front of the house, or that's at the back of the house, and. And, oh, uh, it's just really something. And like we're asking, like, where did my dad go to school? And they're like drawing a map. Like, it's so weird. Like we got we we got into the house, not being able to speak much Hungarian at all, and we like communicated for like an hour with them. There's some things I think that are universal, and hospitality is is one of them. And like, people say like a smile is a smile in any language, and. A, we were so appreciative of their time and they were like more than willing to help us and yeah of course come in and right away like bringing a plate of food or snacks and it was just uh, something like they were showing us like the renovation they moved in there what like eight years prior to that like they were showing us the re renovations of the house like they fixed the roof and there's a lot of dogs here it's like oh go ahead like they were trying to tell us the story of them in the house even though they're not related to you but just just to tell Wes about the renovations they did when they fixed the roof when they moved in and it's just really interesting and I just sometimes wonder like if a stranger had come to our house or someone's house in Canada and, and asked a bunch of questions like immediately you get suspicious and and sometimes maybe you, you don't want to help or you want to close the door or make up an excuse or not even open the door. And here, it's just, we had, I think, the, the best possible outcome. And it's like, at first I was walking down the street and there's like a lot of dogs barking and stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, what's going on here? A lot of dogs. And then like now we're walking outside and, and after being with those people, talking to like the neighbors, like I feel super good about this like, about this area, about Hungary, just like, it's just like a warm feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is cool. Let's, let's keep going. We're not done the day yet. Okay, so, believe it or not, Dad, we are standing in the exact spot of this picture. Now, I think this place has been renovated. So, like, you can tell, like, some of the stuff here, but this, this thing looks the same. But, like, the stairs are a little different. Um, but it's the same place just been it just looks a little nicer now hopefully it's open i don't think it's open you gotta push harder Fa. push harder so actually today is the next day and we got to go meet the the pastor or the priest and he spoke like good english and he like he opened up his record books and showed us like my grandparents wedding like it, it like with the wedding it says like what their occupations were and like uh, and like their grandparents and all this cool stuff. So we got to learn like who our grand great grandparents were and like and some witnesses. And then we actually looked up uh, 
my great uncle's wedding and we got to see their like part of the family and stuff like that. So like it's really interesting stuff. We're uncovering more of my history and our family's like tree because we don't know much about the Hungarian side. So we're, we're piecing it together. It was just so cool to be there while Wes is like uncovering this because it's kind of like as if this were a movie and you meet the the person at the church where his grandparents got married and the record books were like so old and everything was handwritten and it was just really cool and then the the priest or pastor um, said that he hopes that his grandkids will come and retrace their heritage and, and look for their ancestry the way Wes yeah. is doing it. So it was really cool. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting. So maybe this will inspire someone who's watching to learn more about their family because you never know. Like his great uncle was a pharmacist yeah. apparently. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's just really neat. So, uh, and the church isn't open today, I guess. So um, I guess maybe we'll come here another day. But, uh, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to like see the photo from 1950 and then see like we're in that we're spot. We're standing right here. We're standing right here. Isn't that weird? Like it's just, it's like it's weird. It's like cool. It's like. Your granny was here in her wedding dress. We should get married here, Phil. We're back at the apartment. Welcome to our apartment. We're just watching Hungarian television. It's a Jackie Chan movie that's been dubbed. <laughs> so we're gonna, so like, I guess in the next couple of days, okay, what are we doing, Phil? We're gonna, we're gonna explore Mishkolts, correct? That is correct. But we only have a little while left till we have to leave Hungary. So the time went by really fast and we're gonna have to head south. Because it is cold. We're going to head south. But like Mishkolts, like a lot of people don't think there's anything to do here. But we found out there's some things to do here. I'm actually really excited. We're going to try to see as much as we can in the next video. And then Dad, um, I said uh, you got you to gotta give me, you got to email me if you want me to set up your Netflix. I told you I would. We should have a reunion in Hungary with oh. Attila and Nikki and your brother. Yeah, we got to actually, Dad, you should buy a house. Okay, this is what you got to do. It's a good investment. You got to buy a house in Mishkolts, just like a summer house, you know? Just just to hang out in the summer, catch some, catch some sun rays. That's my investment tip for today. The world needs your cabbage rolls. <laughs> actually, I could go with some of those cabbage rolls. Okay, we got, we got something else that you might like. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the video. And we're gonna play some of the music you like. We're gonna end the video, eat some food you like, and and and, and drink a couple of beers. So that's it. Adios, amigos. We'll see you next time. We'll see you for Mish Colts round two.